I'm facing a very uh, difficult uh, challenge here, and that is trying to equate what uh, what you're saying uh, and balancing that with what I'm hearing from uh, other witnesses as recent as uh, last week. I'm sure you're aware of Dr. Namja Ahmed uh, and her testimony. She's indicated that gun injury and death is an urgent public issue. She also indicated that the Canadian Medical Association declares firearms-related injuries and fatalities as a major cause of premature and preventable death. Do you agree with the Canadian Medical Association with that statement? Uh, yeah, of course, fire, firearms injuries are a serious uh, issue. What we're talking about today is legislation, and I've done research on that. Dr. Namja has not, and uh, this is what the evidence shows. I can only bring you what the evidence shows. What you're saying is, is that the existing legislation hasn't been as effective as we would like it to be for the outcomes, and so that would lead me to conclude that what we should be doing is considering the provisions of Bill C-21 to enhance and strengthen the safety measures that we're trying to create. And like I said, in, in the 1990s, over 550,000 firearms were banned, which includes handguns. Australia also banned handguns, essentially restricting them to people like Olympic uh, sports uh, trainees. And there's been no reduction in firearms homicide from that. You may wish to pursue other methods such as uh, in, investing in youth deterrence programs. Those diversion programs have been shown to have significant evidence in reduction of, of uh, homicide later on, as well as criminal violence. Even the Public Safety Canada conducted a report in 2012 showing that some of the uh, small programs that are, are performed in Canada had a reduction of 50% in recidivism in juvenile offenders. So I, I would suggest that what you're doing probably isn't working because you're focusing on firearms owners who tend to be extremely low risk. They've been licensed, they've been screened, uh, they're monitored uh, daily. And so your gain from spending a lot of money on, in those areas is very low.